sudden round of thunderstorms blew through. Ugh. We're gonna try out a new pole today. I don't know. Might be cool, might not be. I don't know. We'll see. Just got this today or yesterday evening when I come home uh, about three four days from uh, Windows 101 the California Dreamer the Sorbo pole I'm an Unger guy admittedly when it comes to poles and uh, handles but I use Sorbo channels and uh, I'm in need of a new pole or at least not not necessarily a new pole but I need to uh, repair my Unger pole and I thought maybe I'd try this out beforehand. So uh, we'll try this out today. I got a long day today, so you guys will be able to check this out. But uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, there to you, Gweedy boy. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hopefully it works. You know, hopefully I'm recording this. I'm going out solo dolo today. I'm going to be trying out the new... Uh, California Dreamer pole, Dreaming pole, whatever you want to call it from Sorbo. Um, I'm an Unger pole guy. I needed a new, I needed to uh, repair the guts of my pole that I normally use, but I thought, well, let me try something different for you two, you know. So <coughs> I ordered a pole from uh, Windows 101, and Manny over there, at Windows 101, is all about it. He's all over that shipping. I got it in three days, so that's not bad, guys. I live in Ohio, and they're shipping it from the other side of the continent in, uh, I think, Washington. So that's pretty kick-ass. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Washington State. But uh, it got here in, in good time, so that's good. Um, I'm going to do a couple of restaurants, and then uh, I'm going to continue working on the... Uh, uh, the condo association that I'm working on doing the windows the exterior windows only on and uh, just kind of show you guys uh, how much I can get done in one day by myself um, I was going to have my daughter help me today um, this would be her first day and uh, she was up with her sister last night until 3 o'clock in the morning and although I'm a huge douchebag I'm not that big a douchebag I'm not gonna get her up they were having fun they're kids so you know, and I've been doing this for quite a long time by myself, so she's not putting me out. Um, but yeah, man, uh, I'll see you in a, in a little while. Peace. There it is, the California Dream from Sorbo. Ordered from Windows 101. It was here in a few days, man. Not too bad. Manny over at Windows 101. Um, as far as all the... the, the window cleaning supply companies that advertise and are got a big presence on social media like Facebook um, you can't go wrong with Manny and Windows 101 uh, Manny's a good dude he runs a good page and even more than that he runs a very good window cleaning supply company so you know I'm uh, Detroit sponge is right up the road for me you know not necessarily but it's only two hours away so um, but I like Manny and uh, I've been, um, I think from now on I'm going to, you know, place every other order, you know what I mean? Unless it's something I need right away, you know, I'm going to throw Detroit Sponge some money and throw Manny some money, you know what I mean? Back and forth, why not, you know what I mean? So, uh, here's a long pause in between work here. I sped this up a little bit because if I didn't, this would be twice as long as it is, you know. It's already 30 minutes. People bitch about my videos being long, but, you know. It is what it is, man. <laughs> it's the way I like to do things. So, you know, sorry. Um, I don't do the the Luke the Window Cleaner videos where they're all super snazzy and, you know, up close shots. And you guys got, you know, got my camera on my squeegee and all that stupid shit. Um, you know, I don't know if they do that for effect or not. But I'm more or less, when I do YouTube videos... 
about window cleaning. I just do, I just set the camera down and just clean the windows, man. I'm not trying to do fancy trick shots and all that bullshit. I'm not, this isn't a Hollywood, uh, production. I know some guys like to really get into it, like that f fucking yum yum Steve-O likes to put his, you know, he likes to put his camera here and his camera there. I really didn't have a problem with that Steve-O dude. I actually had a lot of respect for that guy up until, um, this whole samurai bucket thing came out. Then I was just like, and then just the shit that the dude's doing is just like, like really like, you know, like no integrity whatsoever. You know what I mean? <laughs> like zero on the integrity scale this guy's got. First, the gunslinger is probably one of the best, you know, gives it a glowing review, the gunslinger. And then the samurai comes out and then he's got all this negative shit to say about it. It's like, which is it, dude? You know, you use the samurai for a day and now it's already automatically better. Come on, man. Have some scruples. Have some integrity about you, sir. Come on, man. And then that message you sent Tim about his YouTube channel kickoff calling him white trash. What a fucking dirtbag you are. Shut up, dick. What an asshole. Stick to YouTube videos and blow in WCR and just keep it simple. You don't like us? Stop watching our videos, dude. Jesus. You took the time to watch Tim's video and then make a comment on it. What a yum yum. Come on, bro. This shit's so whack, dude. There's a pre-treat spot there. I had to little some fingerprints I had to get off there. But I mean, for the most part, I mean this pole is cool. Um, as a caveat, I was told that the tips break by uh, a couple of people that use them. I have used them. Um, and then I spoke to uh, uh, Louis over at Superb Window Cleaning, and who's also got a great channel. If you guys aren't subscribed, check it out. It's it's good. He's king. He's Captain Sorbo. He's a good dude too. But he told me that the tip had changed and to give it a, a fair shake. And I have, um, I'm not real a real big fan of it uh, for commercial work. And the reason why I say that is because I'm used to locking my tools on the on the tip with my unger tip. I really like being able to lock them, and I get a little bit of slip uh, doing this this way. And I use a lot of weird angles and stuff because I have to work over booths, so it's yeah, you know for that but other than that man it's a stiff pole the lock works really good i mean it is new but the lock is really nice um the weight's decent uh, i like it i like the fact that it's smooth and uh it's not ribbed like a uh, ribbed for her pleasure but, uh, but it's not ribbed like an unger pole so that's a little different kind of like that a little bit but it's a nice stiff pole there's not very uh, there's not a whole lot of uh a nice stiff pull. <laughs> Get it? Stiff pull. He said stiff pull. Um, it's uh, it's rigid, man. It's it's nice. There's not a lot of flex in it, so that's cool. Um, I'm just, I guess we'll see how it stands up to uh, the punishment, like an unger pole does. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, here in a few seconds, you're about to see some real life frustration from T Squeegee, and then I'll come back to you. All right. So. But yeah, I mean, I'm digging this so far. Nice pull. Um, not bad for out of the box. Pretty slick. But, you know, hey. So who ain't slick? This fucking rain man okay we're back oh, we're here doing uh, that property I showed you in my last video uh, we're here on day two I'm here by myself because the weather is not cooperating and I just didn't see you know first get my daughter out of bed after she was up for until three o'clock in the morning and two not bringing my brother-in-law so why bring them why waste the money you know what I mean because it's gonna be so hit or miss I'm gonna be sitting around a, a little bit dodging raindrops and stuff you know it starts raining i go sit in the truck and then i come back out and finish up uh, this property's kind of forgiving that way they understand that there's a uh, you know i've got you know they're pretty cool about it you know as far as the the weather goes so this lady's got these little uh things as you see i just went around there these little uh plastic dealios to hang stuff from on her windows 
super excellent, by the way. Thanks for that. <laughs> I am uh, primarily one of them dudes that likes to use uh, brass tools on residential work. I just, I think it's uh, more precise for um, residential work just because, you know, uh, you run into so much Bologna doing uh residential work you know what i mean different kinds of frames and i just feel like the details a lot finer on uh brass tools uh i really don't care for using brass tools on commercial work because they always stick they get like gouge and stick into the the rubber gaskets around commercial windows and that like really irritates me so that's why i normally do the you know i primarily use sorbo channels on commercial work that's just you know that's the main reason and most uh residential windows got uh pvc or plastic uh surrounds on them you know you don't run into very many rubber gaskets on uh, uh residential work so so and i just i like brass squeegees i like the feel of them you know um they're very quick um you see how fast i'm moving here um i'm super fast no, I've actually sped this up because uh, I don't know if I said this before in my last little voiceover before this. Uh, this would have been twice as long as if I hadn't have sped this up. So, <laughs> oh well. People don't like my long videos, but uh, you know I'm I'm you know look at that transition on that gunslinger man. Get out of town, bro. Get out of town, bro. It just works good. See, in this, I got to do this on every single one of these. I got to take the storm door apart. Oh, woe is me. Out here making money. Out here make, living the American dream. But, yeah. Good thing is, is they, which is, I find odd, is that they, in the bid, they only want one side of this door done. Um, if they're bad, I do both sides. I don't care. <laughs> But normally, most people, most of these people, they their windows are super clean. They're not, a, they're mo, I'd say 99% of them aren't smokers. And, you know, they got nothing but time on their hands. So they clean the inside of their windows. So these windows are actually not bad. I just did the outside um, because of the spider spray. You know what I mean? But other than that, a lot of these windows are in good shape. And they are maintained regularly. So that's probably, that's why they're in good shape. So, but I'm, you know, I like this, uh, this California Dream Sorbo pole for my brass channels. Um, I mean, I really like it. Uh, it I like it more than I do my Unger pole for m my residential work. So my Sorbo California Dream pole might just be my residential pole. I think that's a thing. I think that's what I'm going to use it for because uh, my brass channels seem to s you know slide around a little bit on my uh, my Unger poles and. That tip, that's the tip on this Sorbo pole has got some O-rings on it. And uh, when you put that brass channel on there, it's it fits nice and snug, man. It's nice. I like it. Um, I really like that. You can see my, I usually, um, my pole, residential, I mean, I always carry my, my eight-foot pole with me doing residential work. But uh, mainly as a tool holder, I always put my scraper on the top of it. I don't know why, I just do. Um, I, I clearly I've got a spot for it there on the gunslinger. I'm just out of habit. I've always kept it there, you know, because every plastic bucket on a belt I've ever had, you can't put a six inch scraper on, but you can on the gunslinger. But rather than fumble around, uh, with it on my gunslinger in the front pocket there where I've got my 10 inch or my 12 inch, uh, S plus on the zero degree handle, I figure I'd just keep it on my pole like I normally do. Radmobile. Ooh. <laughs> See, I'm always having fun, man. I don't, I don't take much in life seriously, man. Besides business and family, and even business when I'm working, I'm even doing, I'm even uh, doing that, uh, trying to have a little fun doing that. What are you doing, dude? Think that's enough toilet paper to blow your nose? <laughs> My son. Um, but yeah, you can see. Uh, how easy the tools come in and out of that gunslinger, man. It just, it just bloop, bloop. There's no f looking for... I've seen some reviews of that Sorbo, uh, or not the Sorbo, the uh, a Samurai uh, bucket on a belt. 
Um, I've heard, I've seen some good ones, and I've seen some bad ones. I'm actually anxious for Manny to get it so I can try it out, to be honest with you, just to see, you know, what's what. Um, I'm a little concerned about where the water's going. Um, I know it doesn't go on you. Um, I seen uh, one of the backflip boys uh, stick a water hose in it and just let it run, and his pant leg wasn't wet, but, you know, all that water was going on the ground. I can only assume that the same thing is going to be going on when you stick your mop in there and soapy water is going somewhere. You know, it's most likely going on the ground. Um, and if it goes on the ground, it's probably going on the customer's floor. The gunslinger solves that problem. It catches that water from washer transitions quite well. Steve-O tried to say in one of his YouTube videos that, uh, man, the water doesn't, you know, it doesn't even leak out, bro. And then if you uh, stop the video and zoom in, you can see water running down, run a, water running down the side of the Boab in, onto his leg. You know, <laughs> you know, it's, I mean, you're as good as the gunslinger is. If you don't tip that tip jar out and you get that full of water, you're going to get water on your leg if you're not watching what you're doing. Same thing with the samurai. If you're not watching what you're doing, you're going to get water on your leg. You know what I mean? It just, I feel like the samurai from the design and the videos and stuff I've seen, it's it's more susceptible to that than the gunslinger is. Um, gunslinger, if you're uh, on top of it, man, um, it's not going to get your pant leg wet. It's not. But, uh, you know, and you know, and that's another thing about this pole is uh, it's got a, like uh, neoprene grips on it um, at the bottom and the uh, in the middle right there where I've got my hand at. That's pretty cool, too. I like that. Um, I was a little worried when I bought this pole. I was like, shit, man, I'm going to have to return this thing's a piece of shit. You know what I mean? And before I even got it, all my buddies were like, man. But, uh, I mean, like I said, this is my first day using it. I'm not saying they're wrong, but I think maybe there may be uh, a few changes that might have been made from what uh, Louis said from Superb Window Clean. He's got a great channel. If you ain't subscribed to it, check it out. He's Mr. Sorbo, man. He's a good dude. I like him. He's also a gunslinger user. But he said that the tip has changed. So I'm hoping that I have an updated tip on my pole. What's good about this is is that it's you can fix it just like Unger tools. So Unger poles, I should say. So maybe I can replace that. Ooh, some cool editing there, man. Yeah, bro. But yeah, just more of the same. More uh, gun slinging and California dreaming, baby. I think that's what I'm going to name the, this video. Gun slinging and California dreaming. Yeah, that's the name of this video. Um, I've got, this reminds me. I have to put another loop. Two new holes in my in my belt loop there. I've, you know, it, my belt is now run out of holes for me to, I've got to make it uh, smaller. So I can make my tool belt tighter because i'm having trouble keeping my belt up now and all of my shorts i gotta buy new shorts because none of my shorts fit i'm like a size smaller now which is good i mean i'm not complaining at all it's good but i have to go out and buy new shorts i might just do like 12 bajillion sit-ups and get rid of that beer belly <laughs> Man, if I could just get, if I could just lose another 15, 20 pounds, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. My goal was 50, and I'm about 15 right now with no exercise, just cleaning windows, and I, I quit with the fast food and the soda pop for the most part. I No fast food unless it's uh, the only thing I eat all day. I've been kind of cautious about that. If I'm going to... You know, the, I've, I li I've got kids, you know, and sometimes they just want cheeseburgers from Wendy's, you know what I mean, and for dinner. And if that's the case, I just won't eat anything all day. I'll just, all my calories are burn up right there. It's water and then Wendy's at the end of the day, but, you know, whatever. I'm not a diet guy. The th I mean, the first three letters in diet spell die, you know what I mean, because you feel like you're fucking dying, you know what I mean? <laughs> But the sugar, uh, the sugar intake, not doing the sugar like I used to has really helped out a lot. Um, actually, my a lot of inflammation in my shoulder and in my elbow has gone away since, so that might have something to do with it. I'm going to try to get rid of the bread. Richie texted me during this job while I was out here today about 20 times. I'm not complaining, though. I like talking to Richie, but 
That's who's texting me. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, that's who texts me. Is Richie Blue, the inventor of the gunslinger. I talk to him on a daily basis. Not about the gunslinger, just about shit. About baseball, um, dumbasses on Facebook. Because Richie, um, he doesn't like dumbasses, but he won't engage with dumbasses. So we just talk about dumbasses when you guys aren't listening, you know? <laughs> so I think that's good. Richie's a really even keel guy, and uh, I wish I could be more like him. I, I can't prevent myself from engaging with dipshits. You know what I mean? I've, I'm, I'm working on it, though. Hopefully I get better. Yeah, I keep my towels on my shoulders, you know, when I'm jamming. I just, that's how I do it. I've got my headphones in. I'm listening to the Steve Austin podcast today. He had the big show on Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's not, I mean, it's got a little bit to do with wrestling and stuff. I'm not really even a big wrestling guy. I mean, I was in the 80s, but... Not so much anymore. You know, I don't watch it at all. I haven't watched wrestling in probably 10 years or better. Probably 15 years. Well, I'm 39. So, yeah, I think the last bit of wrestling I watched, I was like 19 years old. Back when the NWO, the Monday Night Wars was going on. That was the last I watched. And then that was it for me. But his podcast is great. You know what I mean? It's great. So, you don't... He talks about wrestling, but he talks about like... uh the road part of wrestling, you know, the stories and shit of them guys, and the stories are just absolutely awesome. They're awesome. So, I dig it. He's got, he always has some pretty cool guests on, too. They're not always wrestling uh, guests. Sometimes they're just, you know, whomever. You know what I mean? He's had uh, Brandon Schaub, the MMA guy, on recently. Um, that's another good podcast, The Big Brown Breakdown. Um, below the belt now. Good podcast. I like a good podcast. I'm not so much of a music guy while cleaning windows because it's hard to focus on customers. But if you got your one earbud in, you got a podcast going, it kind of breaks up the monotony of the day. You know what I mean? I love podcasts. I have for a long time. That's probably why I do a podcast. I've always wanted a podcast about window cleaning. And there are some like that Window Cleaner Nation or whatever, but that blows. That dude sucks. And it's not because it's window cleaner resource. It's just because that dude blows and he sucks. <laughs> His podcast blows and he sucks. So, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, I like this poll for residential work a lot. I am I was surprised how much I like it. It's I like it a lot. For the, the squeegees that I use for residential work, it's fucking awesome, man. I really like it for that, so... Um, it might be a stable. Look at that gut hang over that belt. Man, you fat bastard. I get chicks, though, so... Or a chick. I shouldn't say chicks. I've got a chick, though. She's super cute. I did something right, you know what I mean? I got I got three beautiful children. I got this super hot chick that still likes me, you know, even though I've gained 100 pounds since she met me. <laughs> Whatever. I got some dude shoes on. Those are called dude shoes. I got them off of Facebook. They're super comfortable, man. They're so comfortable. I'm, uh, I've am i yet to break down and uh, buy a new pair of shoes for work this year. And Richie's texting me again. See, look. <laughs> Come on, Richie. Um, yeah, I've yet to break down and buy a new, a new pair of I I have a pair of work tennis shoes, but I can't find one of them. I want my puppy, Chucky, my female lab. Her name I her name's Charlie, but I call her Chucky because she's a fucking dude ass active dog. Um, I think she's done something with it. She's hit it somewhere, and um, I'm mad at her. But I don't know. I'm break down about. It. I'm kind of a cheap bastard when it comes to that kind of stuff. But I'm going to get around to it. But these shoes are just so comfortable. But the, I, they're no good for walking a roof. I can tell you that much right now. Because I get on a roof and I just my ankles want to roll out of them. That's a lot of top weight to be on those ankles and those those flimsy ass shoes. You know, that's a lot. That's a lo asking a lot of a pair of shoes. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, man. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm liking this pole, man. And I also like the fact that Windows 101 and Manny got me the poll super quick, man. That was super awesome. I can dig it, my man. 
Manny, you're the shit. Um, yeah, I, I just, you know, I was surprised, man. I mean, it's on the other side of the continent, Washington is. So I was surprised, but it works out good. Shipping was quick. Uh, my order came in no time uh, with no issues. Um, package would look perfect. I mean, it was awesome, man. I dig it. But uh, that's pretty much the gun slinging in the California dreaming for the day. I'm unloading all my tools. I've had enough. I'm calling it quits. I'm dumping out my gunslinger water. Remember, guys, when you get your gunslingers, uh, this thing retains so much water. When you go to refresh your washer and rinse it out, you know, as every, as everyone does, um, you want to uh, make sure that you tip that tip jar out uh, when you rinse because it will it's retaining all that water, you know. So you want to make sure when you go back to the bucket to re-wet and rinse your mop out that you dump that water out because if not, it's going to splash out on you. Cause that thing will hold a, a half a gallon or better of water, <laughs> so and you don't realize it until it's too late. But California Dream, man, nice pull so far. Um, we'll see how it goes from here on out. Go to www.futurecleaning.com. Get you a gunslinger, guys. Peace. Mm-hmm.